Now for our final discussion, we're reflecting on the strides that have been made by the Department of Home Affairs in clearing the ID and visa backlogs with Marissa Jacobs, the MD of Expat Web. There's all kinds of uh, notices uh, and announcements that are coming out of Minister Schreiber's office. Uh, most recently, he announced that there are plans to digitize Home Affairs' services over the next five years. And he said that this new approach is called Home affairs at home. So we're reflecting on some of these developments with Marissa Jacobs. Marissa, you attended the recent meeting with Minister Schreiber. What were your key takeaways from his approach to the challenges facing the Department of Home Affairs? I think it's one thing to see his tweets. It's another to have, I think, had mm-hmm. an insider's take on some of those conversations. Yeah, I, th- I think reflecting on the meeting and just the sense that business got after the meeting was was a really positive one. There's definitely a feeling that the minister has a good understanding in terms of what those challenges are that the department is facing. And a clear focus from his perspective is on the visa backlog at the moment. He definitely is taking that very seriously and he feels that the backlog needs to be cleared in order for the department to adequately focus on items such as economic growth and attracting skills. So th- it definitely a key focus on clearing the backlog and then the department's role to enable the growth in the economy by attracting skills. Well, the Trusted Employer Scheme, which we've discussed on the Business Hour before with you, was discussed as a significant initiative. Can you give us an update on the program? Uh, the Trusted Employer Scheme was rolled out to 71 companies on the 1st of March this year. So it's really a good time to, for the department to take stock on that and to see what has the success of the program been. So when we had the conference, Mr. Pindiri Mbele actually gave some feedback in terms of that, of the scheme and the success of it. And it really has been one of the best implemented programs from the Department of Home Affairs, I would say, in at least the last decade. It's reduced the red tape for those employers. So it's reduced requirements. It's reduced processing times. And it really is something that we can only applaud the department for and we really hope that there's going to be a second round with more companies admitted to this trusted employer scheme because it really is enabling business to bring in more talent. Marissa, immigration policy is often seen as a a key driver for foreign investment in tourism. From your perspective, which actions that have been proposed by the minister will most effectively boost the sectors or those categories? So the minister has put a very clear emphasis on improving the e-visa system and that will directly impact South Africa's ability to attract tourism. So one of the barriers to tourism at the moment is how long it takes to get a visitor's visa to visit South Africa. And the e-visa system was implemented quite some time ago, but there's been lots of challenges with that system. So the minister is putting a clear focus in terms of that. And then again, in terms of attracting foreign investment, there has been some changes made to immigration legislation to make it easier for foreign investors to get visas. One of those reforms was the doing away with the need to submit a radiological report. There has been a reduction in the requirements around police clearance certificates. And then we've also seen the recent introduction of reforms such as the remote work visa and many other things, which is is enabling it for business to bring in more talent. How crucial is it that the Home Affairs Department clears this backlog? I mean, what is the impact you foresee once it's addressed in closing? I see there's an article this morning where the minister confirms that the latest numbers from from the backlog is that it's now been reduced by half. So it's gone from over 300,000. They've reduced it by half. So that is really encouraging to see. We are, of course, concerned that working through that backlog so quickly could result in many applications being rejected that should, in fact, be approved Mm -hmm. and which will go then go back into the system in the form of an appeal. But... Clearing the backlog is vital. There are many people who have been waiting for years for their permit to be processed. And of course, if the backlog's not cleared, the minister is forced to keep on uh, issuing these concessions that automatically extend a person's visas. And, and there's, of course, many that want to change conditions because they're changing employment or changing their purpose for being in South Africa. So clearing the backlog is a vital first step to, to get through in order to be able to 
progress in terms of these other reforms that the minister is looking to implement. Thank you so much, Marissa, for your time. That's Marissa Jacobs. She is from Expat Web.